Hey guys, I'll try and do this video as best I can. I'm not used to having a smartphone or I only got a smartphone two months ago. So I know that's unusual. But uh, so I want to make a video about a number of things. Grisai in the studio and also Imprimatura. Imprimatura is when you coat your canvas in a particular tone of grey or kind of salmon colour and you leave it to dry and then you paint on that surface. And a number of painters use that. In the background here, you can see we had, we had the a full booking, 16 students for the oil painters for a beginners class in East Coast Art Studios here in Bray. And uh, it, both studio rooms were used. So it was a really busy two days. And some people are total beginners. Some people are preparing portfolios for applying to art college. Some people are, you know, are 50 and 60 who always wanted to paint, but were afraid to, and they were getting started. So all age groups were present and many different types of levels as well. Um, uh, so I'll show you one or two of those paintings today and I'll post a few images up as well. But in the background here, you can see the studio behind me. Yeah, and let's, I'm just gonna switch this around the studio wall. So first of all, here's Bray. So there you are outside, lovely house over here. And we're right on the main street. The dart is that way. So five minutes that way. And this is studio two. As you can see, there's full lighting, both yellow and blue light to create daylight within the studio itself. Here's one student who's doing grisaille for the first time. You can see here of a bird. And this is the underpainting technique here. Okay. Um, here's a study I did today. We'll show you the wall first. Look, you've got all different types of work. So the main difference between what I do in all academies, whether that's New York or... Uh, the Florence Academy is, I teach all different ways and I don't believe in academic training. I believe in a totally different way of teaching that you'll experience when you come here. Um, but you still learn certain things that are part of those academies like underpainting, like Grisai. But it's what happens really quickly with that, that we develop you as an artist as well alongside it really quickly with your sketchbook work, etc. So you have loads of different studies here. Some of it's my work, sketches. This is an example of, you know, what happens in a day in the studio when I'm doing studies for people and showing them how things work. I'll turn this this way so you can see. Here we have a sergeant head. We've got a little bird guy here. And then Frank Duvenek, upside down. <laughs> and, and you can see some of the uh, piece I did from... Um, Stephen Alexander McQueen, so Alexander McQueen shows one of the models, and students doing different levels of studies. Look, so this is the limited palette. This person's trying to develop their loose work in painting. This is a person doing really interesting abstract work around shades of white. Really beautiful piece there. This is another student who really beautiful painter. This is study one, map one. The other colors are going to go on top. And this is a quick painting done in one day. Really brilliant painting there. And that's a person called Geraldine Carton. Really nice. Here's another of these white studies. Look, love that one. Pencil go down first, then sfumato technique. No linseed oil added. So you get this beautiful chalkiness. I've never been asked to paint a mouse, but someone came in <laughs> and he wanted to paint these tiny field mouse that live in flowers. You can see the beginning of a tulip here, and there he is in the underpainting. Okay, and then this is the study that the student did, their first underpainting after I did the demonstration. Look, really brilliant transfer of information. These are some studies that one of the students did today. First time they've done this, did the underpainting here. Um, this is the Grisaille study I showed people. So I took the swan, we're taking the Grisaille system. And I painted it somewhat realistic, but then I did the old Gerhard Richter on it and totally contemporized the painting. So the painting starts off very scratchy with drawing lines like this. No linseed oil is added at all. And uh, so if you look at this, no linseed oil is added inside. It's just the paint straight from the tube. And you work in a really sketchy way and then slowly build up your tonal system. You'll have 10 shades of gray. Grisai is Portuguese for shades of gray or gray hair. Um, yeah, uh, a little bit on Imprimatura. So here's a canvas prepared with Imprimatura, and I'm going to go inside and show you that. So basically the canvas, you use your palette knife and you apply the paint, and I will show you that. 
And this has raw umber, black, white, and maybe the smallest hint of Venetian. There's my painting of Vincent van Gogh. Painters will know what that means. <laughs> it's a double diptych portrait I did of a guy, Peter Barton in Berlin. That one stood the test of time. And this one's called The Last Flight. It's also survived. What I mean by the test of time, once again, painters will know what that means. It's like, do you like it 10 years on? If you like it 10 years on, you're pretty sure it's a good painting, that, that you're happy. And I'm pretty happy with that one. This is an abstract work here, a really large abstract work I did. A kind of portal, like a field portal, similar to what you have in a Rothko. It's like a space you enter into. And I wanted to create a kind of dream like you're waking up from a dream, but you're still in the state of dreaming. That's that piece there. Um, here's a duplicity of self. So it's a woman kissing herself in a mirror. Okay, so we'll go through the Studio One, which is here. So you can see all the drawings here. And some people, if you're following my videos, you will see the grumpy old Bukowski whiskey nose guy. I'll be having a beer tonight. So there it is there. There he is with the glazes, look. Really beautiful painting by Frank Duvnek and it turned out pretty good. That is the underpainting, linseed oil in black. And that is your full system, Ribera. This is Alla Prima. So this is an Alla Prima study here. You know, no glazing. Nothing added. So with Grisaille, I showed you the swan. And then here is Grisaille of a dress. And it's a piece I made around eight years ago. I really like this piece. You know, it's, it's the good side of surreal. <laughs> so much surreal works really bad. But this, I think, has the right feel. And it really shows you. you got a dirty burnt sienna wash underneath. Burnt sienna raw umber black. And then dropped into that is your 1 to 10 Grisaille system. There's some nice passages of paint. Once again, with a little portal. I love portals in my paintings. And so here's the imprimatur, right? So you've different imprimatur.